Okay guys, finally made it out here on the beautiful waterways of Dubai. This is the Silvercraft 34cc. You guys are gonna love this. I'm excited. Um, this is a boat which actually really is suitable for, suitable for Aussies and Americans, in my opinion. Uh, 34 foot big offshore power cat, twin 300 yammies on the back, um, reasonable amount of bridge deck clearance, just regular hulls, no air steps from what I gather, about 3.7 ton according to VJ here and 300 litres of fuel. I could be wrong so I will um, uh, I'll update that uh, in the description below if I don't have those specs correctly because I've just literally jumped on the thing this morning and I'm learning uh, with you. I might just adjust that camera so you can see me. So yeah, mate, this is a um, bit of fun. Uh, I'll go through the go through the details of what's at the dash here um, later on. That's going to be part of the walkthrough part two of this video. Here we're just going to appreciate some of the driving and performance of this boat. I've got my GPS speed here. Got my revs here. I think it's time to just get this boat up and moving. Um, obviously, su totally suitable for a uh, fishing expedition. I wonder whether this would be a good support boat as well. I'm not sure how catamarans go in the towing function. Um, so I would want to do some research because I don't really know the answer. So, so it could be good as a tow boat. I think it would definitely be good as a chase boat uh, with driver operator. And um, as uh, you know, a, a Sydney Harbour day boat, as a, a fishing boat, it's going to do all of those functions exceptionally well um, because this layout is just big, expansive. We've got flexi tick all the way around. You've got decent wide gunnels, nice amount of um, four deck. So if you wanted a casting platform, if you were the fish show or dropping people on and off uh, from docks and on other boats, totally doable as well. And I also note we have this um, boarding platform at the transom, so that is possible. I'm just going to speed the boat up now, get her moving. So I'm at 2000 revs and sitting at 10 knots. And she feels like she just gets on the plane at 12 knots. So we'll just sit sit at that speed for a little while. I'm in eight meters of water. It's, uh, I tell you what, this is, a, this is a great location for boating. I mean, petrol, they just have, you know how we have water bubblers at the beach to drink water? They have the same for petrol. You just fill up jerry cans and it's free. That was a joke, but it's, it's actually incredibly affordable. So if you want a big boat with plenty of horsepower, this is the place to do it here in Dubai. And it's just sunny all the time. I don't think they even have real clouds. I think they just like seed them or something. I could be wrong about that as well. So don't take everything I'm saying as, as gospel. So speeding, this, speeding the engines up through 2,500 revs. Um, I, got a, I got a GPS speed of 17 knots just there. And the bow raise was just a couple of degrees, but nothing that's gonna hinder me from a safety perspective. And my wind vortices are sitting at about this angle. So my guests would have wind in their face, but I'm fine. And I've got wind to, so the wind is starting just here. I'll just see how it feels. Okay, so if I was sitting and driving, I would, I would need to lean forward a little bit or sit like this is another option. But um, I think, to be honest, I feel like I've got more control from the standing position and leave my my guests to sit here and here. Um, that seems like the more comfortable way to do things. I've got the Yamaha new digital throttles, pretty comfortable. Do pay attention if you're in waves, it's probably best to put it in single lever motor, single lever mode, I was trying to say, because that, that allows you to rest your palm um, on, the, on the throttle base and drive just with the port throttle. It's a lot more ergonomic through waves, but as you can see, we don't have any waves here, so it's, uh, it's just regular sea chop. So we're just cruising along at 22 knots there. That's giving us, uh, sorry, 2,900 revs, giving us a speed of 22 knots. And now I'm just gonna speed it up. You see me directing to my camera boat because I'm not allowed to fly drones here. Um, I don't know, I think something to do with the neighbors, like in this area, they, they use drones for other purposes. So um, they don't like us flying drones, but that's cool. That's cool, we'll just stick to their rules. Um, so 24 knots, 3,200 revs. This feels like a speed that you would go places at, at this 24 knots. 24, 24 and a half, 3,200 revs. My fuel flow is gonna be really moderate at this speed. And 
and this, the motion is comfortable. You know, it's just typical catamaran stuff. So I'm gonna speed her up a little bit more. 3,600 revs. And to 4,000 revs, that's giving me 30 knots easy. I'm gonna do a full speed run on the way back because I want the camera boat to keep up with me as best as possible. And 31 knots, 4,000 revs consistent sitting at 31.5 knots. Incredibly comfortable, even through this little bit of wind chop that we have here, and we do have some boat waves coming from side to side. You know, if you had guests on board, this would not be a problem. So now I'm gonna turn the boat to the right, and back in the speed off. Typical catamaran feeling. She stays level. I've just, I've just wound the speed back to 3,300 revs, 223 and a half knots in that turn. And I'm just gonna take my same line again. That's just typical catamaran stuff, totally level. I'm gonna go through my ways because I do wanna see what happens. Some of these power cats, you, um, if there's not enough bridge deck clearance, they have a tendency to, to push some water out the front and then it comes up in your face, just going through the waves now. Nah, didn't happen. Went out to the side. Well, that's, that's positive. That's positive. Alrighty, <laughs> VJ's stressing out that camera mode. That's funny. Um, okay, just sitting on our 26 knots. Now I'm gonna go fast. See if the boys can catch up with me. Come on boys, we can do this. Alrighty, 4,000, 4,200. 4,300. 4,500 revs, giving me 35 knots. I'll just sit at 35. Okay, camera boat's caught up. Feels good, incredibly controllable. Totally suitable for our market. And now I'm gonna give it full throttle. Yeah, this feels good guys. 37, 38, 5,300, 40 knots, 41 knots, giving the engine a little bit of a trim up. 42 knots, 43 knots, 5,400, a little bit of a little bit of wobbling at the bow there, but nothing that I wouldn't expect on a hull form like this. I feel really in control, going through some waves. At 5,400 to 5,500, I'll give it a little bit of a trim up. And 44, 45, 5,600, 5,700, 46. Ho, 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 46 and a half knots. This thing goes like the clappers. I'm at 5,800 revs, feeling fantastic, in control. The boat doesn't move, this is great. That was a lot of fun. Bringing the speed back to 42 knots. Telling the boat, telling the boys that I'm turning. And we'll just keep turning. We'll just keep turning. I'm doing these signals so the guys know what I'm doing. Okay, this is a hard turn. I'm just holding this. And if we're making some waves, I just want to see how she behaves. I want to see how she behaves. Beautiful. Okay, I want to note, not a lick of water has come over the decks. We're deliberately making waves right now. And this is perfectly, here we go. Now we've got some messy water simulating a typical Sydney Harbour day. And no water is coming over the decks. VJ's white shirt is still dry and that's comfortable. Now I'm gonna bring the boat to a stop. I'm just gonna see how she performs in a maneuvering scenario. I'll let the boys come up and I'll stop the boat. And now I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna do a on the spot. Okay, so much control. I would expect this from a power cat because you know, we've got um, nice wide mounting for both engines. So my control is really good. I can stand out here and operate the thing with ease. That's not a problem. There we go. So this 
from all the silver craft that I've uh, had a look at this week, this 34cc excites me the most for you guys because I think um, for the functions that we like to talk about on this channel, day boating, rough water capability, um, fuel efficiency, uh, tender capabilities and, and support boat functions. This thing uh, has got a bit, all, bit of all of that and the price point, once again, because it's built here in beautiful tax-free Dubai, um, means that it's gonna absolutely you know, rocket it over the, some of the Australian built boats and the American built boats. So I'd be interested to see um, how this brand is received by you guys. Please leave me a comment in the description. Let me know what you think about what you just learnt there. And if you want to see a detailed walkthrough, click on the link coming up on the screen right now.